How to break down complex level 2 A&P topics into bite-sized memorable chunks. Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video we're going to show you how you can create bite-sized chunks of your level 2 anatomy and physiology topics. So even if they're the most complex of the topics, how you can really chunk these down. Wherever you are, we're bringing your Parallel Coaching classroom to you via this web class. So it could be that you're sat doing your studying in a library, that you're sat in your office, or that you're in a coffee shop, or you could even be doing some sneaky little revision whilst at work. Whatever it is that you are, this web class is brought to you so that you can really make sense of what's going on in the complex anatomy and physiology topics and bring those together so that you are competent for exam day. In this web class, we're going to look at four key areas. These areas are, first of all, the formula of learning, so you can understand exactly how you learn, and then also how to keep it as simple as possible. Then we're going to look at key mnemonics you can use specifically for your level two anatomy and physiology. And then finally, we're going to put it into practice. So you'll leave this web class with five clear steps you can follow in order to make sure you can put together your own mnemonics to help with your learning and breaking information down. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, why you need to break it down. So why do you need to try and learn information in a way that is chunked down? Why can't you just learn it in the most complex way? And actually some learners, when they first start learning, will try to read and learn from reading and trying to remember every single word that they are reading. And it doesn't necessarily stick in their brain that way. And you may be the same. What we do find works very well is that as soon as you can chunk it down into sections, you're able to recall that information at the times when you really need it. So, for example, you're probably preparing for an exam right now. Maybe that is your very first exam that you're going to take. Maybe that is a retake. Whatever it might be, you're preparing for an exam and you need to get to a certain grade in order to pass it. In order to do that, you need to be able to retain and recall information. And the best way to do that is to chunk it down into small pieces. But this information is going to go far beyond using it just for your exam. You're also going to find that by understanding information and being able to recall it, you'll actually be a much better trainer, a much better fit pro at the end of it. And the reason for that is that you'll be able to recall this information, you'll be able to program and plan, but you'll also be able to explain the information in layman's terms to your clients so they can understand what's going on even further. So that's why you need to learn it. Now let's have a look at the formula for learning. So most people don't realise there is actually a very clear formula for learning. So you don't have to guess. You don't have to be in a place whereby you're muddling through and trying to get information to stick in your brain. You just have to follow a simple formula. And I'm going to share that here with you now. So the formula is to link things that you don't know. So this new thing we're trying to learn and then link that to something that is already familiar to us that we do know. And that's what creates learning. So, for example, the complex topic could be energy systems. And regardless of how deep we go into that energy systems, whether we're looking at it here at level two or whether we're looking at a graduate level and we're talking about the in-depth level of the Krebs cycle, whatever it might be, these complex details need to be translated into something that is simple and familiar. This works really well in particular if you've got a process that things go through or you need to remember a specific function of that area or topic that you're looking at. For example, in this video, I'm going to go through an example for the heart and also for the nervous system, as well as a few others, so that you have a very clear understanding of how you can actually simplify a topic that is very complex. And as soon as you apply a simple and familiar structure, the learning will be switched on like a light bulb. This means you can retain and recall it at the flick of a switch, which means that you will be able to get the score that you want on your exam and use that knowledge further down the road with clients. So let's look at keeping it simple. Mnemonics are a system such as a pattern of letters or ideas or associations which assist in remembering something. So the word mnemonic is a, a strange word anyway in terms of spelling and looking at it, but mnemonic, don't be scared by that as a word because 
it allows you to really understand. And we're going to be looking at a few of these here today and relating it to your level two anatomy and physiology. The ones we're going to look at in particular are the process of alliteration, acronyms, diagrams, analogies and rhymes. So let's have a look at how these specifically relate to your level two anatomy and physiology. OK, so here's an example of alliteration that you can use. Alliteration is when the first two letters are the same. This example is to do with the concentric and eccentric phases of an action. So, for example, you could be doing a bicep curl or a squat. Whatever exercise it is that you're doing, it has both a concentric phase and an eccentric phase. A way to remember that is that the concentric phase is when the load, so that's your body or the barbell, is going towards the clouds. That's the concentric phase. And then the eccentric phase is when the body or the load is going down towards the earth. And you can use this alliteration to help you remember that concentric goes to the clouds, eccentric goes to the earth. And this just shows how easy it is to remember quite complex topics using something like alliteration. Next one is acronyms. So we're going to use ACE as our acronyms. And actually, there's a lot of different acronyms we can use for level two anatomy and physiology. But let's look at ACE. So have a look at the image that you can see on screen. You'll notice that in our nervous system, we have a couple of different specific areas. The first one in the middle, let's look right in the middle to start off with, is our central nervous system that's made of our brain and our spinal cord. And then we've got other neurons that surround that. Some feed into the central nervous system and some feed out of the central nervous system. So there's a way of remembering the difference between the afferent and the efferent. So to start off with, we have A, which stands for afferent. Now, an afferent neuron carries information from the sensory receptor to the central nervous system. And then C in the middle is the central nervous system itself, made up of the brain and spinal cord. And then E is the efferent neuron. And that's what carries the information from the central nervous system to the muscle that we're talking about. So this basically allows the whole transition of information from our senses all the way through to taking an action. And the ACE acronym is awesome for being able to remember and actually getting the afferent and efferent the right way around. Because if you're anything like me, I always get them confused unless I've got a really clear chunking way of remembering. And ACE as an acronym is spot on for that. Next one we're going to look at is the diagrams. So we're going to use the heart for this. And you can see on screen that there are two different diagrams of the heart. And I'm a big fan of making it so simple in your diagrams, because actually what you want to be able to do is be able to replicate this so that you can remember it and you can use that information in your exam. So if you had a bit of scrap paper, you could scribble it down quickly. Now, the one on the right here, you're not going to be able to scribble down and, unless you're very good at uh, intricate drawings. However, the one on the left, even a five year old could draw. So what you're looking for is to be able to really simplify your images. And this one that you can see here is for the heart and circulatory system. We've simplified the heart down to a square. And in that square, it's got its four chambers. And then you can see that we've got the lungs and then we've got the body. And we've just drawn the arrows around very simply so that we can see the general circulation of blood and how that flows around the body. And also we've made it colour coordinated so that you can see what blood is oxygenated and what blood is deoxygenated. And this is a really good simple method to use. The next one we're going to look at is analogies. Now this is just really, really simple. So an analogy could literally just be to understand the general definition of something. So you might see that the heart is like a pump. So for example, we had one learner in particular that I'm thinking of, and he was an engineer. So he was really familiar with pumps and parts and engines and stuff that I basically have no idea of. But all these different specific points that for his knowledge was really, really key. He really knew it. But he was very confused when it came to the body. It was something very new to him. But as soon as he could relate what he knew about engineering and pumps and engines to parts in the body, he could actually make it work to the point he'd go, oh, the heart's like the pump in this circulatory system. He could understand how they link together. So another really key area of mnemonics is to relate it to something you do know already in your understanding of things, in your vocabulary. What is it that 
you could relate the heart to? What is it you could relate the lungs to? Or a specific function of the thing you're trying to learn in your anatomy and physiology. The next one is rhymes. Now, I really like rhymes because they have a certain rhythm to them, obviously, but they are easy to remember. So, vein is the way in, or vein in is the way in, is a really nice way of remembering that veins are the ones that go into the heart and the arteries go away from the heart but the veins are going into the heart so when you're looking at the pulmonary vein and the inferior vena cava superior vena cava they go their veins they go into the heart doesn't necessarily really matter about them being oxygenated or deoxygenated at this point what we're looking at is the fact that you know it's a vein if it's going into the heart on that circulatory system so all these little rhymes that you can pick up along the way are really good ways to be able to retain and recall information ready for your exam, but also later on when you're training clients. So let's put this into practice. In order for you to create your own mnemonics and break down your own learning, there's five steps you need to take. First of all, choose your complex topic. So you might be looking at the heart, for example, we've had a few examples of the heart today. Then you want to look for trends or keywords. Now, this could be literally highlighting if it's a process, maybe the first letter of a few processes, or it could be that you relate it to something you already do know. So like we were talking about analogies earlier. Then all you need to do in step three is to choose your mnemonic. So you might have, with all the lists we had earlier, alliteration, acronyms, and then how do you put those together is step four. So you start to put them together into something that makes sense for you, which could be your alliteration, your acronym. It could be your diagram, whatever it is that now simplifies and is in a fairly familiar format for you. Then you just need to practice them. Practice them so it becomes really easy to doodle down that drawing or to write out that acronym. And then step five is to use this on a brain dump on your exam day. Now, if you're totally new to a brain dump, I'll break it down very quickly for you. The simplicity of it is, is as soon as you get into your exam room, when your invigilator says, you may now begin, instead of starting the question straight away, just go to your blank bit of paper and scribble down your brain dump. This is basically, you're gonna scribble down your alliterations, your acronyms, your diagrams, because these little scribbles are gonna be really key memory joggers when you get to specific questions. And that's another place where these mnemonics come into their own and really help you with remembering overall. So if this sounds like quite a task to do for every single complex topic that you need to cover as part of your anatomy and physiology, then fear not, because instead of making your own, you can use ours instead. Yes, this is an invite to our revision mastery series, but I'm going to explain about how this actually can save you hours of revision time because it is the fastest way to now retain and recall information using all these mnemonics that we were just talking about because you don't have to go away and create these mnemonics and find the trends and hope that it works and hope you jotted it down properly. Instead, we've created dozens of mnemonics. We've mapped them to awarding bodies. So the major awarding bodies are Active IQ, CYQ, YMCA and VTCT, as well as a few others. And we've sculpted this so that you know that by learning the mnemonic, you're learning the content, which makes it really easy to learn, even the most complex things. And it also makes it very easy to remember. And like we said with the brain dump, to jot it down on exam day and then use that time and time again, ready for recalling the information. So not only is this going to save you hours of revision time, it is also the shortcut to being able to pass your exam with confidence, but at the end of it, still being able to retain that knowledge later on when you're working with clients. So let's explain a little bit more about the Level 2 Anatomy and Physiology Revision Mastery Series. When you sign up, you get lifetime and instant access to all eight video modules in HD. Now, these video tutorial modules include heart and circulatory system, respiratory system, skeletal structure and function, joints and joint actions, muscular system, the muscular skeletal system for special populations, energy systems and nervous system. So you can grab all of these eight modules as part of this revision master series. And you can see these here on your screen now. But alongside each of these video modules, which are about an hour each, you also get cheat sheets. Now these cheat sheets make revision even easier and you can test your knowledge as you go. So they break down and consolidate your knowledge that you already have. Alongside this, you get the instant learning hacks. 
Our instant learning hacks are designed to help you understand how to learn, how to revise, and then retain that knowledge. So it's, it's exactly like what we were talking about a moment ago about chunking information down, but also we relate here about how you can actually use that in your exam and specific strategies you can use to really benefit you to pass. Then you have the success guide, our seven secrets to passing first time. And this has been really interesting because we asked over 1200 learners that have worked with us what their most impactful part of the revision mastery series is that's helped them pass their exam. And very strangely, it came down to seven secrets. Now, these seven parts are the areas that learners have said have helped them the most. So you can hop, if you wanna save time, you can literally hop straight to the success guide and use their seven secrets and use that to help shortcut your progress throughout the revision mastery series. So you can go straight to the juicy bits, straight to the most important areas. Not only have you got all of this, but each of those videos are going to be able to be downloaded to video and MP3. Now this is MP3 and MP4, which means that you can literally download them onto any device. So whether you're on Apple, whether you're on Android, or whether you have a desktop, whatever works best for you, you download them to that. And that means you can access it without Wi-Fi. Now, the beautiful thing of this is that you can use this to shortcut and slice your revision time in half because you can now revise in time that you didn't think you had. When you're driving to work, when you're walking the dog, when you're running at the gym, whatever it might be, you can now use learning alongside the daily things that you already have in your day. Also, you get unlimited student support. So if you have a question, you're not on your own. You literally just reach out to me and I'm here to be able to help you. In fact, if you have a question right now, you can pop that in the comments below and we will get back to you. What this student support allows you to do is it allows you to ask questions and allows to feel like you're not on your own and that you do have the support of somebody else there. Because what we really do want from this is to help you guys pass confidently. And in order to do that, we need to know the areas that you may be struggling on or the areas that you want help with. Alongside all this, you also get bonus videos and mock questions so that it tops up your knowledge even more. And then finally, there's a lifetime and instant access. So it's not going to run out. So whether you're quite a while to your exam or whether it's just around the corner and you want to refresh it again and again, once you've qualified, it will still be there waiting for you. And that's basically our revision mastery series. So it's a huge amount of content in there. And what you'll notice is there is an exclusive offer on this page. So all you need to do is click the link that's with that and you will be taken to the page where you can now buy the revision mastery series. Like I said, it's instant access. So you'll be able to grab it straight away and start learning within the next few minutes. As I said a moment ago, please do leave your questions and your comments about how you've got on with this video today by dropping them in the comments box below because we'd really love to hear from you and love to hear how this is helping your revision. Before we finish today's web class, let's recap those aims. So we first of all looked at the formula for learning and how to keep things simple in your studies. And then we broke down key mnemonics for your level two anatomy and physiology content. We also gave you five clear steps you can follow in order to put this into practice and develop your own mnemonics for your level two A&P revision. So what I'd like to hear is from you about what you learned today. So please do pop your questions and your comments using the box below. Alongside that, if you have any questions at all, you can reach out to me personally on info at parallel-coaching.com and you'll come straight through to me. My name is Hayley. Thank you so much for watching today and I really hope you've enjoyed this web class. Have a great day ahead. Take care.